I'm just about to go into the clinic to go and have a facial treatment, one of which is performed every 15 seconds somewhere in the world. Very exciting, there's a bit of a buzz about it on the internet at the moment. It is, of course, the hydrofacial treatment. Let's go on in. Okay guys, so I'm here today with my good friend Debbie Thomas, advanced skin specialist. I'm just about to go for a hydrofacial. I'm gonna ask her a lot of surging, surging? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what that is. Let's just go with the flow, yeah? <laughs> and let me get on the bed. So what do you see? Is it bad? Well, everyone that comes into me, there's always a little bit of dehydration. Mainly it's the pollution in London, so obviously you want to suck all of that out off and away which is what the hydrofacial is so good at doing a little bit of irritation around the middle of the skin again that can just be a bit stress you know it can be sort of modern lifestyle causing skin to flare up so we want to um, also then infuse it with lots of antioxidants calming and hydrating and um, probably some red light therapy just to again reinforce the calming and the strengthening so i'm just going to kind of go with the flow see what your skin is doing see how it's reacting and then i will change um change up the treatment and and tailor it to whatever your your skin needs while we're while we're going through it so this treatment right now is all over the internet which is weird because it's actually been out for quite a long time hasn't it so i've been working with hydrofacial for nine years we've now got four of them in the clinic why do you think it suddenly just had this big increase in interest um I actually think that people are slightly, you know, everyone likes a, something that's a little bit gross. The tub that collects all of the dead skin and the, the grime and, and everything at the back, I think, I think actually that's the bit everyone gets really excited about. It also cleanses, um, like really deep cleanses the skin, um, and then it infuses the skin with um, various different serums, which means that you kind of get nutrients, hydration, so it cleanses, hydrates and exfoliates in one flick of the the tip if you like over the skin well that does sound exciting yeah so obviously with the hydrofacial we can use several different serums so the first thing that i'm going to do on you is a um, one that is more specifically for cleansing so it has got some very mild acids in there and it means that the rest of the treatment and your skin absorbs products more effectively and um, everything sort of looks brighter so I'm just doing a quick manual cleanse first because I always like to just make sure any makeup um, pollution grime SPF and everything is off the skin first and what are you using right now I'm actually using a, a medicate product cleanser that contains again just a little bit of acid actually so just very mild um, combination of um, salicylic acid and a little bit of glycolic in there it gets into the pores a little bit acids are fantastic for um, actually getting inside the pores to help to break down blockages whereas um, a manual scrub that you do is good for cleaning the surface but it'll never really get into the pores so i always say add a bit of acid in so now i'm going to choose the tip that i'm going to use on your skin um, i've got two choices at this point there's a really strong one and then there's a medium one because your skin is a little bit inflamed i know you like strong but we're <laughs> going to do medium it's how abrasive they are so the orange tip you can see these tiny little holes yeah, yeah. Um, and actually it's a lot rougher when you rub it over the skin and because of these little holes you actually get more suction so the whole thing tends to be slightly more aggressive yeah. so more exfoliation but also stimulates circulation more whereas the traditional hydrofacial tip this is the one that i used when i originally started oh, this yeah. is the one that's got the little swirly yeah. kind of thing on so i'm actually going to use the little swirly one on you this little spiral causes a vortex sort of delivery system of the serum so it actually pushes the serums in a little bit deeper when you've had traditional microabrasion it sort of feels a bit dry and scratchy mm. kind of satisfying in a way because you mm. know it's sloughing off the dead skin cells but afterwards the skin can feel a bit tight and dry mm. because the crystals and things can be a little bit dry so mm. it takes a few days and then suddenly your skin kind of springs to life and it's all it's all great because we all know a good exfoliation leaves the skin glowing the hydrofacial takes all of that away it hydrofacial are the first system that basically combined the three different things of cleansing hydrating and exfoliation in one it's a bit like a carpet shampooer 
So <laughs> we're actually pushing a cleansing serum into the skin, which is carpet, um, and it kind of works its way in and kind of breaks down some of those blockages, it loosens up the dead skin cells, it breaks down any impurities on the surface, the pollution and everything, and then it sucks it all away and puts it into the nice little container at the back of the machine. Nice and empty at the moment. I feel like I'm about to have liposuction. <laughs> it's a mini liposuction for your pores, definitely. So nice empty container. So this is gonna be basically where all the gloop is gonna end up. My three main serums that I work with. So the first one is just cleansing really. Um, and it's quite good for dry dehydrated skins. If I've got someone that has got more congested acne prone skin, I can also add in the second serum, which is also a cleansing serum, but it's a, it's got some beta hydroxy acids in as well, which are a little bit more targeted towards actually breaking down pores, uh, the, the congestion and pores, helping with acne. And I quite like a little bit of salicylic acid for rosacea as well. So I'm probably gonna add some of that in just around where you've got that bit of inflammation. So everyone wants to know what it feels like to have a hydrofacial tongue. The only way that I can describe it personally is it feels like you're being very vigorously licked by a cat. So it's not uncomfortable, it's just a little bit weird. I'm just allowing the serum to move through the... Oh, I can okay. see it. Yeah, I yeah. See it. So the serum is now starting to come through. This tube is the clean serum being coming in and being pushed onto the skin and then the bigger tube is everything being sucked off and taken into our little chamber at the back. So what I want to achieve on your skin is a nice pink flushing because what that means is all the blood is rushing to the area and when blood rushes to the skin it brings with it nutrients, oxygen and it also helps to carry away. It feels kind of like a very mini vacuum. Yeah. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more about the other tips that you alluded to? We've got a tip that's um, hardly exfoliating at all. It's more about product infusion. And there is a third serum that we use that actually um, is just an antioxidant serum. So we can use that to push the antioxidants into the skin without exfoliating anymore. Um, and then we have the, um, the tip that actually uh, we use for sort of extractions I suppose it's a it's a much smaller tip and um, which makes it more aggressive and on places like the nose or chins it just means that we can do a slightly stronger mm. um, suction and exfoliation to um, help us loosen up those deeper block pores mm. you know who doesn't want a slightly hydrated plumped lip you have to be mad exactly so how often do you recommend that somebody has a hydrofacial? How long is a piece of string? Mm. You know, it really depends on your skin condition and what your issues are. We tend to do a, a few treatments closer together, so maybe even weekly, to give the skin a real boost and sort of get it working better. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to encourage your skin to behave in a slightly different way. We're trying to get it to behave in a more healthy way. So by giving it a kickstart, by doing a few closer together, and then you look at someone's skin and you can kind of go to perhaps monthly or every six weeks. You don't need to do weekly long term. It, in fact, it could be a little bit damaging to do that because there's only so much exfoliation your skin can take before it could start to compromise the barrier function. A lot of people rely on um, treatments like this who have really manic lifestyles and perhaps aren't healthy because they're rushing around so much and traveling so much. So they rely on these treatments more, whereas people that are quite um, quite good at managing, yeah, lifestyle, diet and things and using products come in a bit less. So. I always say it's like if you only brush your teeth when you go to see the hygienist. Yeah, you have to be doing something at home as well, otherwise it just doesn't make any sense. Exactly, you've got to maintain what you're doing. This is the, this is your boost. I'm boosting you, but you need to maintain on a daily basis. Is that it? We done? No, we're not. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> that was cleaning only. I'm okay. now going to change over to the little tip. Looks exactly the same, only it's smaller, and as I say, it's slightly um, rougher edge. So you will 
feel it a little bit more but this is perfect for the nose and those pesky little pores that we all have on our nose i feel like this is where it's all going to happen debbie this is yeah. where all the gunk is going to appear in the liposuction tube at the back there the healthier someone's skin is and if they are already exfoliating lots and cleaning lots and all of those kind of things probably going to see less in the gunky tube so i may disappoint the viewing public now the hydrofacial we're only working on removing dead skin cells if you don't have a lot of dead skin cells because you're excellent at using your retinols and your glycolics and everything else at home you are going to have a lot less well, we'll see at the end whether or not I get a medal. So sometimes when I do this on people, and I'm afraid you're not one of them, um, you do actually see the, port, the, the blockages like coming out like little wiggly worms. You actually see the head of them lifting out. That is... Yeah. Okay, that is our second cleansing belt part. So now I just want to put the antioxidants in. Okay. So it's a high, it's basically a serum containing a hyaluronic acid and antioxidants and we're just going to infuse the skin with those so that it has a nice sort of buffet of, buffet. of, of yumminess. So some of the, uh, some hydrofacial treatments, they do have extra serums that you can put into the skin. Um, there's some peels that you can have, which actually get infused through the tip. So more of a stronger peel rather than just the very mild cleansing acids. Um, and they also do things like peptides. And so this looks very similar to the first one, similar size, but it's just, it's a lot um, smoother the actual ridges aren't as pronounced so we're not going to get I say as much of the exfoliation but it's the same vortex it's that pushing in so we just want to really saturate the skin with as much hydration as possible because hydrated skin is a happy skin absolutely so antiox plus this is the serum that I'm using now exactly what it says on the tin antioxidants plus so hydration so perfect so with this one, I'm not going to be um, moving over the skin in quite the same way. This is more of pushing the serum in. So I'm letting the vortex sort of suck and push. And then I'm just going to give it a nice little rub in because we want to get all that serum in. Is there anybody who shouldn't have hydrofacial? Not really. I mean, if you've got very inflamed, broken skin, probably not ideal to be scraping it. If you're quite sensitive, you can still have the hydrofacial, you just need to turn it all down. So I can do um, various different settings. So I can use the vacuum and I can use a really strong vacuum, which do you want me to do a little bit so yeah, you can feel on. the difference? Go on, do so it. this is the main one that I use on everyone, which is a vacuum of 18. But if I take it up to take it up to 30, which I would Ooh. never do on a client, Ooh. but this is just so you can feel the difference. You feel like you can hardly move it. I quite like it. I quite like that. Can we not? <laughs> so, and you can see much more redness comes up a lot quicker. I feel like we're getting somewhere with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? We're done. So, can I have a look at the gunk? So, bearing in mind that the serum that was coming out of there is all clear, that's not terrible. No, I have seen it before where you can see more lumpy bits in there and stuff but I said we're probably not going to see that with you because you're just so good at cleaning my nose I'm a good girl <laughs> yeah yeah but it is like cloudy you can see there is definitely some bits floating around in mm. there well thank you very much for that I do feel nice and refreshed and I do feel like uh, my skin definitely is more hydrated. You know what it's like when you work in this kind of industry, you often don't get to have the treatments that you would maybe suggest for other people. So I'm really glad that I could get this opportunity to have my hydrofacial. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions about the hydrofacial, jump on in the comment section below and I will pass them on to Debbie and see whether or not I can get a sensible response. And I will uh, I'll, I'll let you know the answers below. Join me again next week when God knows what I'll be doing, but I will see you then. Bye-bye.